We are less than two weeks until Election Day, and so far more than 24 million Americans have voted early. Today, both campaigns responded to new warnings from John Kelly, a retired Marine general who worked for former President Donald Trump. Danya Backus has the story. At a live CNN town hall, Vice President Kamala Harris seized on new comments from John Kelly, former President Donald Trump's longest serving White House Chief of Staff. The retired four star general said Trump fit the definition of a fascist. The people who know Donald Trump best, the people who worked with him in the White House in the Situation Room, have all called him unfit and dangerous. In now published interviews with the New York Times, Kelly said Trump could govern as a dictator if elected and corroborated reports that Trump spoke favorably about Adolf Hitler. He commented more than once that, you know, that Hitler did some good things too. Both Harris and Kelly also pointed to the former president's recent rhetoric about the enemy from within, suggesting he might use the military against domestic opponents. It should be very easily handled by if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military. Something Kelly says Trump was repeatedly told by advisors not to do. Originally, the conversation would be, uh, you know, Mr. President, that's outside your authority. We really don't want to do that inside the United States. Trump held two events in Georgia Wednesday, but made no mention of Kelly or what he said. Kamala, you've done a horrible job. You're the worst ever. There's never been anybody like you. You can't put two sentences together. But he issued this statement on social media, accusing Kelly of making up stories, calling him dumb and a lowlife. Trump supporters say they remain confident in his leadership. If he was going to be a dictator, he already would have done that in the four years that he served. And CBS News has learned one of Trump's biggest supporters, Elon Musk, got a letter from the Justice Department. The DOJ says his recent $1 million giveaway to registered voters to sign a petition could violate federal law. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles.